Hi, I'm Z, and today I just wanted to share with you what I got at MICE, the Massachusetts Independent Comics Expo, in October of 2019, uh, just a few months ago. Um, yeah, I just thought it'd be kind of fun to show what I got. Um, I was cleaning up my room and realized I had a pretty big stack of stuff, and I was like, oh, I should just make a video. Um, yeah, just make a video, just like something fun. And uh, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to start with the guy who did the illustration on the front. Um, who did the illustration on the front and the posters for mice. Uh, it's Hartley Lynn, and he does a comic called Popats, which I love. Popats. Um, so I got these first few volumes. Um, see, I did get one, I think one, two, and three. Um, which just kind of sort of follows these two girls uh, uh, post-college in Canada. Um, I'm usually not too much of a fan of comics where like the characters are just uh, spend a lot of time talking to each other. It usually gets a little like meh, but um, the way that he handles it I like a lot. Like uh, the way Adrian Tomei does it, I'm not a big fan, but um, I, don't know, I just found the, the story of uh, these two pretty riveting and I Definitely regret not picking up the big volume which collects their story. Uh, he signed it for me. And one of the things he does that I'm a big fan of is that he does the nine panel, uh, nine panel grid. He makes some of the panels slightly wider. Like that. The art's just great. Just it's black and white. The story is really interesting. Um, yeah, I wasn't. So it's mostly about uh, this girl and she's like an office worker in a, a law firm and slowly working her way up. And um, I don't know, I, n I never really thought that story would like be so riveting, but it's it's good. I like it. Um, I like ate this up and read it a few times on the bus. And I did end up buying the volume that collects their stories uh, secondhand, but uh, I wish I had bought it at the expo. And then next is a Inktoberzine by Sabrina Melodou. Melodou. Um, I love anything sketchbook related. Um, I love Inktober and um, I also follow her on Twitter and she um, she does a lot of ceramics as well. Love her ceramics. They're so cute and funny. But um, yeah, this was her Inktober. She's like, <laughs> she's pretty funny. So <laughs> uh, I really enjoyed it. Next is um, a comic I got by Katie Skelly. I did get her vampire book, but I couldn't find it. But I did buy that from her, and she did sign the comic for me, so that was pretty exciting. Around October, I had started watching a lot of um, Jell-O movies, so this kind of just, just came together. Um, I really love her work. It's just it's just so lush and like different and like badass and like the '60s and like. I don't know, it's just, she just has a lot of style. She's a lot of style and she's just cool. <laughs> um, and then next is... Uh, um, so this is a zine that's in the part of a series, but um, it's drawn by different people, and this is by Winnie Frick. Um, I've been a longtime fan of her illustrations for a long time, and her publisher was there, so I snapped this up in a sticker that was uh, this illustration. Um, she she does a fun take on uh, comics as well. It's it's a little bit different, but it's I mean I really like her work. Like all of it is so I don't know, it's just so beautiful. I love pencil. I love black and white art. And um, yeah, I was excited to snatch this up. And next is uh, another sketchbook zine by Kurt Anke. Anke, totally butchering his name. Um, and he also signed it for me, and I love the, the cowboy. Um, but he, oh wow, I think he lives in Cambridge or Somerville. Just so, so beautiful. Really, I really enjoyed his uh, line work. Yeah, anything sketchbook related, I will I will snatch up pretty quickly. Oh, wow, some negative space. 
next who was also um, next to the table that Katie Skelly was at um, is uh, Julia. I can't pronounce her last name, but there. Um, both of these are pretty dark. Um, this one's 18 plus. This, this one deals with um, a succubus. Or a succubus or a tol no, it's a tulpa. No, it's a succubus. Um, but it's she does just like incredible pen and pen. yeah, that's I think that's pen and ink or just pen. But yeah, pretty dark. Um, so this one is actually a plague story. And it's also published by Fantagraphics. It's a flap. It's a, it's a really nicely made book. It's the matte cover, soft matte. Um, it's not embossed, but it's like that heavier um, paperweight. Design is nice. Uh, really, I like her art. But both of these stories were like super dark. <laughs> Then I got um, this art book. It's a it's by Chu or Chu Draws. Um, I've been following her for a long time on Tumblr, so I was excited to see this because I thought this was actually all sold out. Um, but her publisher was there, or someone who who sells these was there. Um, so I just want to say that um, I did a bookmaking in school, and um, I was I love doing flaps and these do these like really sweet flaps oh, look at these end pages though um so what i like about chu is that um she does a lot of like like same weight no pen pressure line art um and like she just has like good colors she knows how to pick her colors and like really create mood and like atmosphere God, look at that um I'm really hoping for the day that she um, finishes and publishes her, her comic, uh, Red Herring. She's been kind of working on it on and off for a long time, but um, I really like these two. <laughs> it's just, all of it's just so good. Jojo. Um, so I was excited to get this, and I think this was also the most expensive thing I got. I think it was like 20 or 25, maybe 35. I don't remember, but uh, I'm glad I, I got this. And the last thing I got was by Cameron uh, Lucente. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, he also did a, a sketchbook zine, slightly 24 hour uh, comic zine, but uh, I really, I really like this. And it's just sort of, uh, it's just really interesting to see how someone's day is going. And I really like his pencil work and a lot of it is just like so sweet. <laughs> And I got a more polished uh, comic from him. Um, what's funny is that I thought this said Old Lady Frank, but it's Old Lady Frank. Um, it's this horror comic. Uh, I, I liked it. Ooh. And yeah, that's um, that's what I got at mice. I thought this would be a fun thing to show. Um, hopefully, yeah, hopefully there will be another one this year. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.